Hey everyone, it's Eric Dorr here and since the dawn of civilization, INFPs across the world have come together this week of May to celebrate being INFPs and therefore I decided to do this INFP week special. So today we're talking about why people underestimate the INFP and the question is have you ever felt like you were underestimated by other people, by your boss, your co-workers or friends or family members? Well, there's a reason for that, and that's because INFPs don't actually really care about impressing other people. Now, there are people out there that care very much about what other people think, and certainly the INFP cares about what other people think, but not to the same extent that some other people do. So, as an INFP, you're going to bear the blunt of that, because if you don't put effort into appearing a certain way to other people and presenting a certain image, you're not going to have a certain image to present to people and people are not going to know what you want other people to know about you. So I made a video recently where I talked about how INFPs are also a bit more secretive than other people and because INFPs are more mysterious, well, most people don't know about the special gifts, passions and talents that you have inside yourself. And so when you as an INFP start opening up to other people, you'll find that other people are often taken by surprise. They're like, wow, I didn't know that you could do insert talent here, you know. I didn't know that you could paint. I didn't know you were good at programming. I didn't know that you were uh, such a big reader. I didn't know that you were interested in this or that. So many people, you know, they will take uh, something they do and then they will just bank on it so everyone knows about it they will shout it out on megaphones like hey, hey guys you know I just made a million dollars look at me I'm so rich and fancy you know and you as an INFP you probably never even <laughs> the thought never crossed your mind to even do that so INFPs don't really market themselves and that's also because you have inferior extroverted thinking now, in this video, I'm going to tell you that marketing yourself can sometimes be a plus, plus, and it's also something that you shouldn't necessarily be afraid of. The truth is, many INFPs underestimate the value of their own work. A lot of INFPs have imposter syndrome. They feel like, even if they are really good at something, they feel like uh, they're not that great at it. And they feel like, even if they put a lot of effort into something, they feel like they could have done more. So many INFPs don't feel like they have the right to market themselves or to sell their accomplishments or achievements. And sometimes that's a good skill to have. Sometimes your ability to market yourself is the one thing, one quality that could help distinguish you. Now, the truth is many INFPs feel an aversion to doing this. They can even feel like it's ethically wrong. Why should I put out my value, my content, my work to other people? Why should I ever say that something I did that I'm proud of something I did. Why should I ever talk about the positives of what I do? Why should I ever convince my manager that why I should get a promotion or a raise? But the truth is, you know, the main reason why INFPs struggle with this is because honestly, you doubt the value of your own work. Because extroverted thinking is in your shadow, you don't see or recognize the skill, the value and effort that you do and put in to the things that you do. So you do have a lot of effort and you do have strong extroverted thinking in areas where you are passionate, but you don't always see it. And often we tend to stress so much about our inferior function. You know, there are INTPs that are great with certain people and in certain situations, but who still feel like they are terrible with people. There are <laughs> INFJs that feel like, oh, I, they can never be in the spotlight and they're terrible with presenting their work to the outer world. Yet, they're really good at getting attention to big ideas and making and putting their ideas into the real world. So many people doubt their capacity to use their inferior function, even though the fact that they are really good at it. So the same goes for you as an INFP. So if you want, you have the capacity to sell and market your work. And the fact is, if you're able to do that, that's a good thing. If you have something that's you are passionate about, if you have something that you care about, chances are there are people out there that care about that too and want to hear about it. So don't be too afraid to sometimes talk about things that you're passionate about. Don't be afraid of sometimes 
uh, put, uh, toting your own drum or uh, you know like saying that like, you're when you've done something you're happy with don't be afraid of sharing your work and sometimes putting a price tag on it you know uh, and don't be afraid to say you know when you put a lot of effort into something say i put a lot of effort into this and this is something that i care about and because i put a lot of effort into this i feel like i should get a compensation for you as my boss so basically it just comes down to recognizing that what you do from your own subjective inner experience with introverted feeling can be put in the world and can be valued externally by the system and by society. The things that you do, even if they are just yourself sharing your own feelings, your own values, your own views, still have a point and still have a place in society. The inner world and inner experience can be translated to the outer world and the outer world and the outer experience can be made into and internalized as a personal experience. The things we have and the cognitive functions can be developed and you can learn to connect the dots between your mind. And maybe, chances are, when you, if you start to do this, you're going to really, really surprise people. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.